Continuing coverage, restoration work continues across Michigan tonight as crews work to restore power knocked out by last week's storms. But as TV 5's James Felton reports, some mid-Michigan residents still have a lot of cleanup ahead. I really miss the news. Flushing resident Maria Perini describing her life without power. While some of her neighbors have their electricity restored, Perini doesn't. She's getting ready to spend another night in the dark. Ours is coming back on Monday because the electric pole got cut down with a tree, by the tree, and uh, the electrician has to come tomorrow and then a consumer power's coming. A few doors down, a falling tree spared power lines at LaShawn Green Hester's house. The same can't be said for her car. It just look a hot mess. <laughs> Green Hester tells me the tree smashed through the windshield and put a hole in its roof. I just got that car probably some months ago, like a couple months ago. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't too happy. And while most residents here knew the extent of the damage right away, one did not. He was on vacation in the UP, and today he came home to a nasty surprise. Needless to say, when we got here, it was definitely shocking, a little bit devastating. Trees snapped in half by wicked winds are laid out all over Patrick Kaufman's property, and that's not all. We still are without power, um, so we've got we've actually got water in the basement we're trying to get rid of, get taken care of right now. As for Perini, she's hopeful that tonight will be the last time she's without power for a while. We'll be happy when it's coming back, that's for sure because we really want to watch news. Reporting in Genesee County, James Felton, WNEM, TV5.